It's all right. It's all right. What is this? Oh, Mr. Harris, this is the children's choir from Westgate Community Church. I invited them. Aren't they just adorable? So, Riley, I can't have this. Look, they're distracting all of my customers. This is the last day before Christmas. And this this manger, it just there's just no room for the manger. They just got to go. Look, you've got me into this. Now you've got to get me out of this. That is, if you still want your Christmas bonus. Hello? Mother? Yes. No, no, I haven't forgotten. No, Mother? Yes, I know you're the only house on Elm Street with no Christmas lights. Uh, I promise, Mother, I'll be right there. Uh, Mother, I have to go now. Goodbye, Mother. Miss O'Reilly, my Christmas is just too busy to be bothered by all this. I'm late to spend Christmas with the one I love. That was me.
sufficient. No. They've offered to help us out and sing at our party in the night. They even have their own manger scene. I can see that. This is Mary and Joseph, and this is the shepherd, and these are the wise men. Oh, how I love the wise men. They were, well, so wise. Really? I saw all they did in the time for all the animals. <laughs> oh, no. They wanted to find the king. So they packed up, left everything behind, and followed the star. Kind of like walking in the light, right? That's right. Christmas 
bonus to buy this gift. What God would really like from each of us is a pure heart.
help you with in the kitchen? No, that's okay. I started this morning by praying to the king this morning, and BAM! God eats it up now. You know, it's not all warm. Well, that's great. Well, there was a time like when in my life when something like this could have taken or could have ruined my day and taken all my joy away, but I've learned to live differently now. I've learned to forget it. What do you mean? I'm not here to please myself. I'm here to please my king. Boys and girls, I was wondering, who knows the wise man's third gift? I know.
of the unborn King of the Jews, for we have seen his star and have come to worship him. And when they found the Christ child, they were overjoyed. And when they entered into his presence, they bowed down and worshipped him. They, gave, they opened up their treasures and gave him gold earth, presents of gold, incense, and myrrh.
Kids, that was fantastic. Just fantastic. a lot of work and we certainly thank the kids for their part tonight and uh, Bill don't disappear we want to say thank you Bill Weaver and his wife Andrea for all the work that went into it. Thank you very much. And for Haskell Dickinson and the great part he played tonight or today and then for uh, Charlie Cottle and Sarah Dickinson. Didn't they do a great job today? Set up here, uh, David and Tanya Pyatt uh, did the work on that. Just say thanks to them. <laughs> hey, have you ever thought of what it would be like to have been there during that event? Have you ever put yourself in the place of one of the characters? You know, for instance, what it would have been like to be a shepherd? You know, just imagine we're shepherds. The, the coals of the campfire are burning, and, and as if on cue, the, the last embers of the night's fire discharge a, just a, you know, a glowing warmth that, that leaves you kind of uh, naughty in relief. It's been a long day. And then suddenly a, a brilliant star appears, and, and several of our group get up in haste, only to fall backward because of what they see before them. An angel of the Lord a mighty warrior radiating the glory of God is suspended above the group. This is no imaginary vision. God has sent his messenger to us. Can you imagine what that have been like? And then imagine lying, trying to lie down and go to sleep after an experience like that. This was the first Christmas and there, there were no sleepy eyes among those who, who saw what went on that night. The Messiah had come to earth. And these men were the first to hear about their coming. He sent the holiest of birth announcements to just ordinary people. People who in reality were, were, were in reality of much lower social standing than even the most common men and women. You know, I was reading that that scholars believe that this band of shepherds was camped somewhere near Bethlehem, maybe just a few miles away at the most. And after hearing about the, the birth of Christ from the angels and in witnessing the praise and adoration of the heavens, the shepherds left their flocks with friends and they quickly went to Bethlehem to see what God had done. God came to those who needed him the most. There was the poor and the humble. The men and women who, who felt forgotten and long, alone. He came to identify with each of our hurts. And he comes to us today just like he did then. Today, men and women cry out for the peace and joy that the kids have just sung about. And many search endlessly to find a solution. Many think, well, if I could just earn more money, or if I could just get another job, or a different job, if I could just get a bigger house, or, or buy another car. But satisfaction and peace are not found in those things. They're found only in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the angel told the shepherds, I bring you good news of great joy. And all of us enjoy receiving good news, don't we? In this case, it was the best news anyone could have ever received. The miracle of Christ's birth was but for one reason. And the reason that that manger is there, the reason that Christ came was to bring joy to earth. And, 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 and during a time when it was so badly needed. And you know, this is God's love for you and for me, regardless of what you've done in your past or where you are right now in your life. God accepts us 
just as we are, and he forgives us whenever we just come to him and recognize our need for him. Just as we've heard in the message today, there's times when we just need to meet Jesus. We just need to go to Jesus. Meet him at the ministry. Let's pray again. You know, before I pray, I was struck with the fact that, you know, the shepherds didn't wait until morning to go into the city of Bethlehem. Boy, they heard of that indescribable joy waiting for them that was greater than anything that they had ever known. And they took off. And you know, this same joy that they heard about is the joy of Christ. And it can be yours. And right where you're sitting, we just need to ask, Lord Jesus, today I really believe you love me. And I want to experience your peace and your joy. And I recognize my need for you this morning. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. And by faith, I ask you into my heart. I want to receive you. I want to receive your joy today. And Lord, as we've worshipped you today and had the kids lead us to the manger, may the songs that we've heard and that we've sung together and the story of the birth of Christ rekindle the hope in our own lives of what a difference you can make in our lives and in the world. And help us, Father, to, to love you more than ever before. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. This just sing in a spirit of prayer. Oh, come let us adore him. Let me just join me. Oh, come let us adore